Today's phonics lesson is spelling test day. So obviously no new material. Okay, do you have your name, mailbox number, today's date, lesson 115 on your paper? You should by now. It's been on your desk for quite some time. All right, let's read some sounds. Er, where's this one usually at? At the end of a word. Oi, at the end of a short word. Wha. Ow or o. Oi, in the middle of a word. All of these say what sound? Yes, because it follows the vowel, consonant, silent E. So they all say their own name. So this one says U I A E O I. At the end of a word, what's right in front of it, everyone? Short vowels. And our short vowels say a, a. I, A, A. J, at the end of a word. Again, it follows a short vowel. Ear, er. Two sounds for that one. A, in the middle of a word. What are the most common consonants that come after? the A that we've talked about so far? N or, L. N or L. Are those the only ones? No. no, but that's what we've talked about up to this point. Ah. Uh. O, uh. in the middle of a word. Er, uh. uh. in the middle of a word. Iled. Bull, gull, zol. Cool, cool, dull. Full, tull, pull. I. What is a consonant that might be after this I at the end of a word? Raylin? T, yes. Ow, in the middle of a word. Er, in the middle of a word. Eind. Old. E, in the middle of a word. Can say eh. At the end of a word. Oast. In. What is this called? A prefix. A prefix because it's added before that base word. D. Re. X or eggs. E. A. Dis, un, con or cun, n, that was the one from yesterday, wasn't it? B, com or cum, okay, let's spell some sounds. Our first sound is dis. R. Remember the sound R. N. Suffix D. Mm -hmm. 
suffix t. Three ways. They can go on three separate lines if you want to, because this is our last sound. Three ways, long U. Mm, you know what, let's do two ways, because the third way we haven't really talked about that they show in the book. So two ways, long U, okay? So two ways. Long U. All right, everybody done. Okay, let's read some words. Everybody's attention up here. What? What's, he's, I'm, that's, where's, she's, it's, we're. No, the word is we're. What's the word? We're. There. There's. Whose. Here's. Your. Friend. Aunt or aunt. Build. Women. People, pupil, woman, there. This is the one that shows that it belongs to them, remember? Like their house, their coat, their dogs, their barn. Review from yesterday, the N prefix. And case, and chant, and crust, and endorse, and grave, and large, and list, entertain, and trap, enable, enrich, ensnare, endure, enrage, encode, enforce. Encompass, enlighten, encamp, enclose, endear, enfold, enjoy, enjoin. Now the dis prefix. Disagree, disband, disclose, disgrace, dislike. Dismay, distrust, disable, disclaim, discharge, dislodge, dismantle, discord, dispute, dismiss, discard, disgust, discuss. those to yourselves. Okay. Compare prices when shopping online. Let's read it again. Compare prices when shopping online. 
you might contact the people who live in that district. Again, you might contact the people who live in that district. Do you know this word? Constructed. Okay, so constructed. Read those to yourself. All right. I constructed the entire program. Again, I constructed the entire program enclose the note in an envelope again enclose the note in an envelope okay let's do our spelling test our first word today is dinner Dismiss. Dismiss. Okay, the next word, tugged. Like you tugged on the rope. Next word, it's a sight word. Build. Yeah. Like you want to go build a sand castle. Furry. That kitten is very furry. Our next word is grubby. Some people say, get your grubby little hands off my food. Grubby. Bless you. Sight word, people. Our next word is starred. Star. The teacher starred the papers after they were done with their work. Or he starred in the movie. Dispute. A dispute is like an argument. Dispute. The next word is a sight word again. Pupil. Are you a pupil? 
Do you have a pupil? Yeah. <laughs> Is your pupil a pupil? Yes. Okay, so that was our first 10 words. Now, now we're going over to the right hand side. Yeah. Starring. Similar. She has the starring role in the musical. Starring. Dimmer. The lights got dimmer when it was time for the movie to start. Dimmer. Our next word is popped. popped. The balloon popped when she poked it with the pin. Discharge. A nurse has to fill out the discharge paperwork before you can leave the hospital. Discharge. Scarred. She scarred where her stitches used to be. We have another sight word. Listen to how I use it in a sentence though. The word is there. Let's walk over to their house after school. Stirred. He stirred the spaghetti sauce while it was cooking. Stirred. Flippers. Penguins have flippers on each side of them. Flippers. Okay, we have two words left. Mm -hmm. The next one is disable. They had to disable the alarm. And then our last word, scarring. We did scarred. No, I said all the weeks. Starring. This one is scarring. Gotta listen. Okay, that should be all 20 of your words. Okay, I'll pick those up in just a minute. This is simple. We've done this before. Looking at page 115 or lesson 115, you are just writing the prefix over here on the left side 
and the root word or the base word over here on the right side. So display is display. What about erupt? E erupt. What about enlarge? N large. Do you remember doing these before? Okay. When you finish with your prefixes and roots, just hold on to that. And I'll have you compare with someone else as they finish up. Okay?